All right, good afternoon, YouTube. Here we have another episode of our repair work to the 1988 Formula 350 yellow gold car. As I had pointed out before in my last video, I had told you that I'm gonna go ahead and replace the alternator here because I had some voltage fluctuations with the car with uh, appearing to be a short to ground or some kind of voltage drain on the car. So once I finally got the car warmed up and could see what I was dealing with, once we took a voltage reading off the back of the terminal right here, off the back of the alternator, I could see that my alternator was uh, jumping all over the place, putting out a low of 11.9 up to a high of 15.6 uh, all the way to 16. So what likely is going on is we got a failing voltage regulator internally, even though when I went and had this tested, it actually t passed the test. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna replace it with a new AC Delco. Uh, professional series alternator here that I got brand new for this uh, for a really really good price because it was an open box buy but you know um, sometimes if you dig around you can find some stuff for really economically priced and kind of keep your budget in check so you can see this is a brand new rectifier everything in here is brand new so I'm gonna change this out and get back to you in just a few minutes and show you uh, what kind of results we have be back in a minute all right, we are back with the finishing result or product of installing our new alternator here. We've got a brand new alternator to test on this Formula 350 that was getting some really crazy voltage load variations on it, which didn't seem to make much sense because at first this alternator, the old alternator, had trusted out good. So. What we do, we've installed our alternator, we've got it in place. Third gens are actually quite easy to install an alternator. You've got one bolt here, one bolt there, Torx head with a captive screw on the back and then another one here. So it's really not a complex thing. I didn't go into detail about changing it, but we've got our new one in here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and let's see how our voltage variations are looking. If you'll remember before in one of my last videos, this thing was, uh, all over the place as far as voltage. So let's see what we do now when we fire this thing up. Let's get our radio turned off. All right. So as you can see, on initial startup, we're looking pretty good. We've got a rock solid dead buried in the middle 13, which is what I really want. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I will start adding some load to the system. We'll see what happens. So first what I usually do is I'll just go ahead and put the, uh, put the hazards on. Got hazards flashing. I've got no drop in voltage. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and put the radio on. Okay. I'll get the radio going. Let's go ahead and put the, we got it still right where we want to be. Let's go ahead and put the defroster on high. And we'll go ahead and put the rear defroster on. So we create a maximum amount of load on the system. We're dipping a little tiny bit, but pretty much negligible. We'll go ahead and turn the headlights on. Okay, I've got headlights going. I've got the maximum amount of everything that can be on in this car. As you can see it dropped just probably half a half a volt there. We need the brake lights. And we're looking pretty good actually. I'm gonna keep the bolts, the brake lights, brakes on. I'm gonna go ahead and honk the horn. And I'm looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna let it idle for a few minutes with everything running just to make sure we don't have anything uh, going on but I think we may have found the source of at least our voltage irregularities for the moment all right so I appreciate you checking in and I will update when I get to the next part of my series on this Firebird Formula 350 I'm gonna go ahead and start on uh, the smog pump, reinstalling a smog pump that I showed you last a couple times. 
and put it back to get on there so we got all the factory original stuff back on it and after that we'll probably go ahead and change the fuel pump and I may go ahead and change that catalytic converter because you can hear that thing making noise right now so thanks for watching make sure to comment below like the video and subscribe if you want to see more thank you